Hello, Cordell Radke here with my new and refined project pitch for my web app integrations course here at Full Sail University. So to kick it off, we're going to take a look at the documentation for my project on GitHub. This is my capstone project for this course called Car Crux. Some of the technologies I'll be using are Axios, Firebase, React Native, and Redux. Go ahead and click open Firebase and it'll take you to the link there. And this is where you can set up your Firebase account. And when you first initialize the app, you're going to want to put in your API key. And then it will also, within Firebase, it will give you the rest of the information so you can just copy and paste it within the app. And of course, you will clone this repo and an npm install, and you should be able to run on both iOS and Android. Now, going into some of the documentation and the spec page, this is basically the site map. Um, I'll go over this in the prototypes that I've created. Um, like I said, the Firebase will be used for the user data and it will also, uh, using async storage, will store the vehicle data as well. Now the v vehicle API that I chose that ended up actually working um, as of now is the car query vehicle data API and database. Um, this retrieves all of the years, makes models and trims which is very helpful for my application that I'm building. Now if we go over to the first prototypes I created, I got a lot of good feedback from my instructor and I tried my best to implement it into the new designs. So these were all my old designs. And let's go over to the new prototype. So it's pretty self-explanatory when you click sign up or log in or you uh, touch it on your phone. You'll be brought to a form where you can plug in all your information. Pretty self-explanatory, like I said. Um, I didn't create the uh, Illustrator file for that. So if you just click it and you sign up, it will bring you to the garage. It will also welcome you as uh, whatever your username you chose bring you to the garage you can go to dashboard now dashboard will be blank when the garage is blank so that's just something to keep in mind and of course you'll be able to add a vehicle when you add a vehicle it will you can plug in your make model trim and year of your vehicle and it'll also give you the option to upload a photo of your vehicle which is pretty cool and click done it will save, it will bring you back to the garage where you can view your vehicle at the dashboard. It will show you today's estimated mileage. You can also add today's mileage if you want. If it's um, not estimated correctly, you can always um, recalculate it. And what you want to do here is, for instance, vehicle status has a check engine light on, so it's immediate attention rather than may acquire attention or it's okay at this time. So for instance, it's the oil change because the user did not add a record of the oil change. So you would add a record. Now you can upload uh, a record photo. So this could be anything related to uh, records such as receipts, guides, warranties, etc. You can put in the shop name. Hopefully I'll be able to implement a uh, feature so that will list all the uh, sh popular shops that people can use to get their um, vehicles serviced. And then you can put in today's mileage, the date, and then you'll be able to put in your uh, sales tax, labor, and other additional uh, costs that you may have received when working on your vehicle. And you can always add a note. Um, this is this is where you would want to put everything that uh, was serviced for your vehicle. And then you'll click done, and that will bring you to the service history and you can view your record details and it'll give you uh, the shop. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to also implement 
a contact feature will will bring you to a link of um, contact for that shop so it'll display maybe a phone number or such and then it'll give you the total cost of the services and then you can always go to videos tutorial videos here I want to implement the idea of having topics such as brakes tires engine work and then you would be able to click on a topic and it will show you videos related to that topic go back to dashboard you can also click the settings and this will give you the option to log out of your account or you can delete your vehicle or you can edit your vehicle oh yeah when you add a vehicle so this is what the car query API is using and this will be uh, used using the Axios and Firebase and so it will be able to list out all the makes, models, and trims. And that basically covers it for the app. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.